<laughs> Welcome everyone in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video we're going to talk about gameplay tags and how uh, they have been updated. So this video is going to be, you should be watching this video before entering any, before viewing. If you're a new user of MC, you should watch this video before going into details of skills, stats and combat because all the video tutorials are using one way to use a feature uh, which is outdated and this video is going to update that and if you're a, an old use an experienced user uh, check out how you can now use the gameplay tag built-in unreal feature to power up your experience so uh, it's going to be found on the, the changes are going to be found on the stat manager on skills so this is going to be a skill uh, it's actually going to be an active skill and it's also going to be find found on the combat manager so when you get stats now you have a gameplay tag a list of, of things which you, you can check and previously you had to do something like make bitmask, choose something in there, and then choose something in there. So you still have to do that for some some stuff in the in MC. But now all gameplay tags are handled this way. So if you stumbled upon a video where I'm doing this for gameplay tags, just do that instead, and it's going to do the trick. So how do you have and the other benefits of this is that you cannot be re overriding your own gameplay tags with mine when updating MC, whereas previously you could you could be forgetting to store your tags and lose, lose them all. Now you can just have a bunch of tags in your project and you'll be good to go. But how do you add tags? Uh, in, in another video, I'm telling you that uh, the, the previous way to add tags was to uh, to go to settings, to multiplayer combat editor content settings, and in there you add you add an enumerator where like stats where you add gameplay tags, and now it's used it, it's stored internally to your project, and that's why you need to import the example tags if you want the examples content to work. But if you want to create your own tags, you will go to project settings, gameplay tags, you, were, you are going to check these boxes. You are also going to check fast replication. And you can add new gameplay tags by opening up this one, this window, and typing in the name of your tag. So for instance, physical, points, blunt. Add new tag. It's going to add a new tag to your physical list. And now you can add a new tag, for instance, physical point sharp. Add new tag. And it's going to be there. So this is how you can add tag now. And this is how you're going to use them. So in when you get stat, when you do stat mani manipulation overall, uh, in modifier as well. Uh, stat modifier when you add a stat modifier it's going to be it's going to ask for a bunch of tags in there and when you set active skill metrics of a skill you're going to need to specify the tags this way and when you deal damage uh, it's going to be the same and there is also another place where it's uh, it add it add an impact where this modification add an impact is in the combat manager uh, in everything related to combat mitigation you know have to it's now kind of a different way When you mitigate damage received and mitigate the damage applied, now you have the list of tags there. Uh, actually, rather in apply damage tip effect. Previously, in there you had an enumerator, and now you have a container. 
So instead of switching through the, the enumerator, you can check if this has a specific tag you are looking for. And that's how you can, that's how it is used now. So I think, and if you still have the, the stat manager, the, the, I mean, you can get rid of the gameplay tag enumerator. You don't need it anymore. Uh, in any case, if you update MC, it's going to be gone. So this is it for the gameplay tag update. Hope you liked that video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.